Hey everyone, Alyssa Hope here. If this is your first time tuning in on my second channel, I recommend that you subscribe for future uploads. I'll be talking about various NHL topics. Today, I really wanted to talk about Carey Price because it was the first time that we've actually seen him play today uh, since July in the Stanley Cup Finals, so a long time. And if you're not very familiar with Carey Price, I mean, He's definitely one of, if not the best, goaltender of his generation, drafted the same year as Sidney Crosby in 2005. And I was just thinking about it. I, I knew that he was one of the few goalies to win the Hart Trophy, at least. I mean, I know Dominic Hasek won it a lot uh, during his career, but I actually looked it up and Carey Price was the only goaltender other than Theodore to win the Hart Trophy since 2000. So that just goes to show how good uh, Carey Price has been in his career and the legacy that he has left behind and will. But anyways, uh, Price made his return against the Islanders and it was a nice tribute as well that Montreal did for Mike Bossy as it just so happened that the Islanders were versing the Canadians and you know, Mike Bossy, I wasn't around to see him play, but um, I know that hearing from other people that he was a great hockey player in his own right and a very gifted goal scorer. So what I really just realized watching Price's return was the reception that he got from the Montreal crowd. It just, it was so emotional just to watch. I'm not a Habs fan. But just watching his, the reception that he got from the crowd, it was, it was something. You could hear them chanting his name and you can just feel, I mean, what he really means to that franchise in Montreal. You can just tell that he is very beloved. And Price, he had some struggles getting back into the crease. As you may not know, he sought help through the player assistance program. Bobby Ryan also did um, for his, you know, addiction problems and Price. Now it's not usually made public why they sought, seek out help, the reason, but, um, but Price did seek out help through that program. And I think it's just awesome when players are brave enough to take that step. I, I really commend Price and Bobby Ryan and others that have, have done that and um, have just said, hey, I need help because I think there's a stigma around um, problems with substance abuse and mental health and I think that it's just commendable and it's it's awesome that Price was brave enough to do that. He also was rehabbing from injuries. He had, I mean, he had surgeries and injuries and just tons of stuff. So um, a long road back, like I said, it was a very long time since he had played July. So if you think about it, that's close to a year, pretty close, um, more than half of a year. But I'm just, you know, the Montreal Canadiens didn't get a win. They lost three to nothing at the hands of the Islanders. But I think if you're a Montreal fan, I mean, yeah, the loss sucks, but it's probably kind of overshadowed by this good news. And watching Marty San Louis just um, announce the that Price was, you know, coming back, you could just tell it was so heartwarming just seeing the joy on his face. And like I said, this guy is loved. So um, it. I'm not even a Habs fan, like I said, and it just, it brought me joy just to seeing this guy return and, and the, the struggles that he's faced and the things that he's been able to overcome. And, uh, and I think it's kind of inspiring, really. But we'll just have to see what happens as far as um, his future. I, I think that the Habs franchise was a lot different when Carey left. I mean, obviously they went to the Stanley Cup Finals and then things have drastically changed. They've cleaned house. They've, they've taken a more of a stance of being in a rebuild, and I'm just unsure. I mean, they traded to Foley. They, they have some big questions to ask themselves, some soul searching, I would say, in the offseason. And I think that Carey Price is going to be on that list of players that, I mean, they're going to question, do we move him? Do we keep him? Do we ask him to waive his no-move clause? Are we going to try that? And I understand, obviously, like, he means a lot to the franchise, but... If you think about it, I mean, we've seen when we don't think players even have a chance of leaving, like Marc-Andre Fleury with Vegas, I mean, a lot of people didn't even want to 
believe, didn't even want to think that it could be a, a, a thing. They just were like, out of sight, out of mind, no way are they going to trade him. You know, just no way. But like I said, you just never know. So I think that with him getting NHL action again, I would say it's more likely. I mean, Elliot Friedman said that he believes that Price could be on the move himself. Um, so I think we'll just have to see. But if you're a Habs fan, I mean, it's definitely not something that you'll want to witness. But, you know, it. he could want to try to win something. A lot of players will do that. So, I mean, if, if he makes that choice and wants to move elsewhere, I mean, I would support his efforts and uh, I would definitely understand. But uh, just, he has to do what's best for him. And, um, and so it will be interesting seeing what happens in the future. But like I said, if you're new here, I would really appreciate it that if you would subscribe, um, it would really help me out. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.